Drivers of Reddit, what's your biggest pet peeve on the road? You have a ducking blinker, use it. No I'm not trying to waste my gas. Blinker fluid. People not getting to speed when getting on the freeway, like hello, going 40 while everyone is going 65 is really ducking dangerous. A small truck in front of me was getting on so slowly. When we both started to finally get on there was a semi. I had to stop on the side of the freeway because the truck wasn't going fast enough for me to get ahead. I would have been hit by that semi because he was going way faster. Scary shit. Sorry, my BMW doesn't have that option. And use it before you are halfway through the corner, that's kinda the point of them. Pretty sure BMWs don't have blinkers. They all have blinkers, but they emit a wavelength of light that poor people can't see. Drivers who refuse to lower their high beams as they approach you at night. Or just the ducking annoyingly bright lows on Acuras and Infinities. People who lift a truck and don't adjust the lights so they're straight in your eyes. I've been seeing people just keeping them on while on the highway. Six other lanes of traffic and they don't see a problem. Cruising in the left passing lane, looking at you, Illinois. That's the whole US homie, slower traffic keep right. So I live just across the border in Indiana, daily I have to deal with Illinois people on our interstates cruising in the left lane, and they're just general shtty driving. In May of 2018 I was out in Nevada driving back to Vegas from the Hoover Dam, there was a line of people in the left lane. Not passing up anyone on the right. Eventually things broke up a bit and I was able to pass on the right. Lo and behold when I get up to the front of that line to see what the hell the hold up was. A ducking ash hole in a jeep with an Illinois plate. No ducking way 2000 miles from home and those ash holes are still pissing me off. The problem is that you have people who believe they are the pace cars of the far left lane. If they're happy with going a certain speed and it's faster than the other lanes. Duck anyone behind them who wants to go faster. God forbid these morons ever realize they can't move over right one lane to let people pass and then go right back over left. Here's the thing. Everybody complains about this. But most of y'all are part of the problem. Let's say the speed limit's 70. You're driving 70 and regularly passing trucks driving 65 in the right lane. You probably think, I keep passing trucks, so I'm using this lane correctly. But the guy behind you wants to drive 75, and to him, you're another asshole cruising in the passing lane. Don't get married to your cruise control in heavy traffic, speed up to pass the truck, and, even if you can see the next truck you're going to pass, get over into the gap and let faster cars by. Most drivers are super timid about merging, they think that if they ever duck into the gap and let faster cars pass, they'll be stuck behind the next slow truck forever. IRL. You're rarely stuck in the slow lane for long, not if you're willing to punch it when a gap opens up. <coughs> Happens a lot in the SF Bay Area. Some overly safe driver who thinks they're doing a public service will drive 63 in a 65 in the left lane and even as you approach they won't. Fucking. Move over. Forcing you to pass on the right. Gets even worse when these blowhards crap up the express carpool lanes. People not going when the rules say it's their turn. Don't be polite, be predictable. Yes, especially in traffic circles. If you're in the circle you have the right of way. Please don't stop to allow people to enter. You're not helping anybody. If you're going to go below the speed limit, do it in the right lane. People who don't pay attention when driving. If the light turns green, ducking go. Lights around me don't stay green for long, so this causes a shitload of traffic. This old guy sat at a green light the other day. I gave him a light honk to alert him and he proceeds to pick up his hat and casually put it on his head. The school bus behind me honks as well. I give him a second honk. Guy continues to leisurely adjust his hat and after the bus and I honking about 3-4 times each. He looks in his rear view mirror at me and then continues off. And surprisingly he pulls into the golf course after this little charade, all in front of a police station. Stop texting, 
signal before you merge, not as you're merging, let people in, you're not going anywhere, use the zipper method, be on time, so you're not late and driving like an ash hole. The zipper method 100% this, it's so easy to do and would make traffic move so much faster if we'd all stop acting like ash holes for those 3 seconds, I don't get why people don't do this. People won't let you merge. They think you're an asshole for zipping past traffic to merge. Little off topic, but as a pedestrian my biggest pet peeve is when people have plenty of time to make a turn, but wait for you to cross the street, I'm talking, like I'm 15-20 feet away from the curb cut, and you wait for me, I don't want a jog man, I'm tired, but now I feel like a DCK if I don't hustle across the street because you waited, sounds minor, but I walk 6-8 miles a day. So it happens a lot. Around here I've been told that if you make a turn when somebody is in the crosswalk at all you are risking a ticket and liability for any injuries they may receive while crossing. Dunno how accurate it is, but screw it, I can wait. You don't have to jog take your time but I'm waiting for you to cross. Pedestrians who just walk onto the road without breaking stride assuming everyone will stop for them at non-crosswalk and non-stop sign intersections. I nearly hit a guy yesterday, a grown man, who walked out between two tall vehicles, so even if I had been looking for him I wouldn't have seen him. I was in town in a section where the speed zone is 25 miles an hour, so didn't hit him. People who tailgate in the right lane when they can easily pass. I hate this, I drive 20 miles to work every morning and people are just idiotic on the highway I usually take, there is almost always someone who will tail me bumper to bumper when I'm in the middle lane of a 4-5 lane highway for no known reason, recently I had a truck come flying up behind me when I was in the rightmost lane, with a giant dump truck on my left, and they start flashing their brights at me when I had literally nowhere to go, infuriating, chill people on I-45. People who eat cereal while driving. Texting and driving honking right after the light turns green. I'm sure truck drivers will agree with me here but I hate people who are going 30 miles per hour up the on-ramp to a highway. Not all of us can quickly accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 3 seconds. We need the length of the ramp and the right lane to get up to speed before we are forced to merge with traffic. I don't even drive a truck and I agree with you. How the hell can someone think it's safe to try and merge when you're going 30 miles per hour slower than the flow of traffic? And my car is not some modern spaceship, so I can just punch it like others do once they get on the highway. Infuriating. People not freaking indicating. People who skip lines. You are jerks and I hate you. People who won't speed up when merging onto the freeway. Dueling 18 wheelers are the most infuriating. One going 65.1 and the one next to them going 65.065.24 ducking miles and miles. With 50 cars behind them. GTF over ash hole. Please, stay in your lane. Please, please stop drifting into mine. Please stop driving up the middle of the road. There are two lanes here. Just stay in your damned lane. When it's bumper to bumper traffic, nobody's moving, and some idiot think he's the only person who is suffering and slams his horn and yells at everyone around him. We get it. It sucks. It sucks for everyone. Grow up. When someone's lane is ending and they act like yours is the on that's ending and you are the on who has to merge. Failing to signal their intentions. Communicate with me and I will work with you. Act like a DCK get treated like a DCK. Shooting out of a turn and then slowing it the duck down. In a similar vein. Don't turn take the chance and turn when someone else is turning from the opposite lane. Chances are good at, if I am coming. I can't see you pull out behind the car that's turning. And I don't want to have to slam on my brakes because you're an idiot. Get out of the way if you're going 55 in a 60 and you're in the far left lane. Littering. People who insist on keep 10 car lengths of distance between them and the next person even when going 5 miles per hour. 
tailgating, what does it accomplish besides raising the risk of an accident and putting people's lives at stake? Like Luda said, I'm doing a hundred on the highway so if you do the speed limit, get the duck out of my way s. When there's two turning lanes and people turn into the wrong lane. People not indicating on roundabouts. Slow drivers on one lane roads.